Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today I want to share with you a clip with me and Jim Morgan talking about life, I'm an attention guild, brawls, and the opportunity that they represent for you as a new player. So this is a longer conversation, but we go on to all several different topics. I think you're going to want to stick around, especially if you don't fully understand guilds and how you might benefit from them. Stick around, stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Have an amazing day. God bless. Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Jim Morgan, are we? Yes, we're live, Jim. Yay. Guys, sorry about that, guys. It's my fault. I was streaming on YouTube after the town hall this week. I got live on my YouTube, and as a result, I had my keys all messed up on uh, on my OBS. Jim, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. <laughs> guys, check out the it new. Good day. Check out the new uh, the new digs. Jim made this new uh, like frame for us, like super clean. Love it. And we got Jim's Jim in the cell over there. Yep. Yeah. You know me. Good. It's quality. People know it. You got a brand. <laughs> soon. Soon I won't be in jail anymore, guys. Is that right? Yeah. As of Sunday, I get out. Nice. Well, tell, tell me more about that. <laughs> so um, I've been here now for pretty much two months now and uh, or finishing up two months and i'll be moving about 20 minutes north i'll be closer to my parents um actually a bunch of my family not just my parents and uh moving into an apartment with uh my sister nice cool so, man that's really cool family love it yep can't wait cool man so mm -hmm. one of the, one of these days i'm going to come over and we're going to hang out in chicago but we'll, so, sooner than that vegas is coming and we're going to be hanging yeah. out there yes I can't wait for that. <laughs> Me too, dude. It feels it, it. I'm counting down the days, and right now I'm in like this season at work, which is yeah. so crazy busy. But it's actually ending on October second or fourth or something. I, I forget what day that is. So I, I get to like put this all behind me, and then like three or four or five days later, whatever it is, three days later, I think, um, like just kind of fly to Vegas and just kind of cut loose and do the Splinterlands thing. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm 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 super stoked for that. Part of me wants to be like live streaming or vlogging it, mm -hmm. which I'm pretty sure we're gonna be allowed to. Yeah, I'm, so. I I hope so. I I'm bringing some equipment, but I'm bringing like really pared down stuff. Like I got maybe I'll try and show you. Hang on a sec. I bought I bought like a ring. I bought a ring light, and I bought yeah. um it it's like got the mobile got the mobile attachment for my phone, and then I have wow. like a. I can't find it right now, but I have a secondary, a, a, like a secondary mic that is portable. And this is like, keep in mind, I have to keep this in my carry on, like going to Las Vegas. So it's got to be small. Yeah. Oh man, Rick on the mountains here. He said, finally, he gets to watch us. Love it. <laughs> That's one of the guild members we got. Cool. Mm -hmm. We just finished. Um, uh, we No, we never seen we just finished another what's it called uh guild uh brawl this like yesterday or something and and i'm feeling i'm feeling pumped like guild brawls are my new or uh guild yeah guild brawls are my new kind of focus right now one of my personal focuses we started adding a bit more into our buildings <laughs> thank you thank you rick and um all right, so uh, we <laughs> recently we started putting a, a bit more money into our 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 buildings for the for the guild hall. Yeah, some crazy dude dropped a a quarter of a million DEC to, to put it into level seven. Wow! <laughs> I'll give you a hint. He's the leader. <laughs> well done, my friend. Well done. <laughs> and then, um, and then today. Uh, one of our one of our new members, like they've been in here for less than a month, mm -hmm. pretty much. Yeah, they they started. Yeah, I want to say less than a month, and then he finishes out our arena, right? But now we don't have the crowns for it, so we're like, guys, what are we gonna put money into now? Yeah, yeah, same here. So, yeah, it's like now we're at that, you know, that brick wall of like, all right, well now we have to do brawls. 
but we're trying to max out the arena. Mm-hmm. So when SPS gets here for brawls, mm-hmm. we're just trying to be making as much as possible. I totally agree. And this let, let's spend some time on this because this will be important to some people and it should be important to more people. So let's spend some time talking about it because you're right. That's deeply important. And the 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 rewards that are going to come here are going to be really we heard i think nate or might have been cryptomancer it was one of the big wigs talking about how huge it must have been cryptomancer he was he was that was the last time he was on before his big big vacation and cryptomancer was telling us that um it was going to be they're going to be dramatically more rewards at the highest level in the brawls and there are so few people who have the buildings to fight there it's almost going to be a given that you get massive rewards for being at those levels but there is always and i don't i don't know how to think this through and jim if you have insight into this please let me know i want to i want to be able to think this through and i don't know how there is you, you there's this saying like you do you want to be a small fish in a big pond or do you want to be a big fish in a small pond and at some point if you if you're if you're building if your arena guys before we go any further the guild arenas are constructed to host huge battles known as brawls and the larger the arena the bigger the brawls and the more rewards this is the info screen on the arena the arena determines brawl participants so the number of brawls the number of people fighting and the challenge level like that's like which which guilds are participating in the in the brawls you're participating in and the potential rewards and as you can see there's multipliers on the rewards and the rewards are multiplied um uh it depends on it depends on how many people are participating at least one battle and then it depends on how many wins you win of it but um this the if my question, Jim, is how do you how do you think through whether you as, you want to ascend to the next level? And because you're going to be facing like se- severe, like much more competition, I would imagine, versus yeah. staying lower. Have you have you thought through that, or is there ways that I can think through that? So we were kind of having the same dilemma of like, all right, we were pretty much top one or top two in. I think Mm. like arena level twos, I think it was. Mm. And so we were trying to figure out, all right, is it worth it? Because we know we're going to be going up against other people. And let's say we get last place, right? Mm -hmm. Is that better than getting first or second place in that lower tier, Mm. which we were all assuming not. So we decided to take the leap, go into it. And we noticed that we were pretty much getting the exact same for being in last place our mm. first brawl we ever did we got last place i want to say we got like 1100 um merit points mm. which that's what we were getting for being first place in the lower tiers interesting mm-hmm. really really interesting and your the store is the one that multiplies the merits you're receiving so the higher your store the more merits you will get like it's not exactly it's it's also depends on like you say the arena that you're fighting in um yeah. but but then you get multipliers which add up fast we uh time intention one has 80 percent on the merit bonus and somebody just donated in tna one to uh over a hundred thousand and it wasn't me it wasn't the guild the guild owner um uh to get us to like what will be i think level seven i'm gonna quickly switch over there uh time yeah so i i think it's like it's instantly worth it going up because yeah the store increases your merits but so does the arena because Mm -hmm. that um that rewards i believe Mm -hmm. uh many crowns oh it might just be crowns then okay um the crowns hmm. are deeply important i want i i was thinking yeah because if you you, like just like you said a minute ago you get a hamstrung you can't move on you can't upgrade your buildings even if you have dc all the dc in the world because you need those crowns and so getting the more the multiplier on the crowns is gonna unlock the potential upgrades and interestingly the crowns are things that you can it's almost like a savings account that you just if that thing just fills up you get if you get to a place where you have three four thousand crowns in in your account it's great you know what i mean like one day you will be at a place where the dc will come in and the buildings will be upgraded and and the crowns are necessary um in fact a ton of crowns are necessary guys if you're if you're new to guilds 
like the thing about guilds is one they reward you two like with with um with merits which unlock gladiator cards which are cp but also this is going to pay SPS to every player in the game that plays in these things. Everybody should be in a guild if you're taking Splinterland seriously. I know if you're like me, I, I was never in a guild in any other game. And I always kind of thought they were super nerdy and lame. But the thing is, one, it's it, this is financial reward. It's literally a bonus to the players who play the game. And usually guilds off request like a nominal sort of contribution. They'll be like, a, you know... 300 or 500 dc contribution per season or something like that and then of course like jim alluded to and i alluded to members will occasionally from time to time just be you know particularly generous and hopefully there's like a community as you know there certainly is with time and attention hopefully there is with your guild too the point is like it's more than just like a, a, a nerdy thing that we participate in. It's like a group of people that see the vision and the value in Splinterlands and who are investing their time and attention and, and are hoping to get the extract those rewards. And now SPS is coming. So totally important, super important to, to get involved kind of now, I would say, because you want to start, you want to either be creating a guild that can, that can grow rapidly so that you can extract maximum rewards or you want to be aligning yourself with a guild that exists that's already growing and um you know there are a lot of good ones out there time and attention i think has a few spaces uh we're being pretty choosy at this point but um we have one we have one kind of filler guild which is leveling up but i created it almost just so we have because you the thing about this and um you need you can't just throw money at this you can't just pay all the dc in the world you need those crowns and so we i made time and attention four before jimbo and the boys joined um and i did so without any without the bodies to fill the seats because we just knew that we needed to get like essentially crown production going and we needed to get some of the buildings going and so it's already it's already there it's like the it's the least of the time and attention as you can see we've got four like strong competitive ones and then we got this one here but um one day yep. this will be competitive also four strong competitives and then there's number five mm -hmm. who's trolling <laughs> oh you're doing great <laughs> you know you know what i love about our guild so I don't, I have it set up to where like people don't have to participate in like ranked play. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to have a certain amount of, of rank to, you know, be joining. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we have like four members that are all just sitting at zero, mm -hmm. but they're still putting in, they're still putting in work. Nice. So, yeah, I mean, there's like there's ways different ways of contributing whether they if you do play yeah. your rank battles you end up getting um da uh, folk, daily focus those focus help you but it's not the only way contributions community there's lots of ways to help exactly yeah oops oh, did that kill it no we're good okay so let's check out what's going on in the chat butters was hanging out here let's beast mode on the butter like butters Last place will be better uh, as more guilds enter. Yeah. Looks um, like my face froze. Did it? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, let me see. Let me go there. Go back to OBS. Oh, yeah. We're, right, good. we're back now. We're back. Cool. <laughs> uh, okay. Butter says, I opened up 10 Gladius packs on stream today. Nice. They sent a submission clip uh, of the week if you want to... See the big drop nice um why did dragons got uh virus says ygg got uh, dragons got 1378 merits and 31 crowns for getting ninth in that one might have might have a lower level store though i i'm gonna hit you one like we just finished ours and mind you well everybody just finished their brawls but mind you where are we ranked we're 30 something um we're ranked 39 and we've been as high as 25, but we kind of, like, we have to pull, we have to like really, I started this conversation wanting to talk about how I've been really committing myself to improving my, my guild brawls. But as you can see, we got 3,100 merits each. And so that's, uh, that's a significant difference from what virus was just saying, like 1300. And I think Jim, you were saying like 11 or what, what did you say you guys got? yeah yeah it was about 1100 we were getting 
So I mean, thirty one hundred. But I think our last one we just got thirteen. Mm. So yeah. So I mean, it's it's tough. But the thing about the thing about this when you start to move up is that there's more and more gold foil battles, and so I was stepping in. Luna, uh, Luna Sisa just crushed it. Seven and two. Well, I mean, I'm right there too. Seven and two, fortunately. Smoke Lord, seven and two. Uh, and then we got like strong performances also down here too. But um, sometimes you just get, you guys know, you join a tournament and sometimes you just get hosed. And guild brawls are kind of the same. Sometimes you'll run into some opponents that you can push around and other times you you won't. You'll run into a wall. Um, but I, I often play gold foil brawls. And so I've been really moving, trying to like put together. I've been consolidating across like my 10 accounts or whatever I got. I'm pulling in all the gold and I'm trying to upgrade, you know, key things. And I'm intent thoughtfully going through and being like, okay, what would actually change and, and, and improve what I've got? Um, this is a rental. Man, do I wish it was mine though. <laughs> And uh, it's it seems to be working. Like it, gold foils to me is like my pet project now. It's like yep. my plan for the future. It's an investment, but also they I hope they will be massively financially lucrative and they'll garner significant rewards for me through gold foil tournaments or through gold foil brawl phrase and so on. If A12, we had a full guild, a, a, a full guild of 30 with the same average rank as the other members we would be rank seven wow so our hall needs to grow so we can get more bodies in but we also need not just bodies but you know quality what he says hey Dwayne and jim and all the tna fam good to see you bud yeah. um, yeah, he's a part of the guild as well nice eli's in the house dude i was in a fray for silver modern this round and almost all my opponents had one to three million collection power yeah that happens every now and then like i think i went oh for seven two brawls ago and then i went like one and six the last brawl and then this brawl i was like no like no i'm gonna i put in all brought all the golds home to this to my main account and i started consolidating so i could get like a silver a true proper silver deck i mean some of it's even better right like kelly here level seven general sloan level eight quicks level three but i want to have it like really thriving at that level at like silver at least and gold would be would be better and this time i when i went into the gold fray i was like you know what heck with it. i'm gonna rent scarred llama for for the for the duration like and this was like um you know it's like a i think it might have been a 1200 dc a day card or something like that but i just was like we gotta we gotta win these brawls so Dwayne, Dwayne, real quick now i know i've been playing this game for a year okay mm -hmm. but i still call that thing sacred llama you mean <laughs> to tell me it's not sacred llama scarred it's funny that uh, you, you say that yeah the, the uh, first time i ever the first time i ever did a video about that um it might still be called it's on my youtube channel and it, it's called scar or sacred llama and like for the win or something it was like about that about how amazing that that summoner is and and uh someone in the comments like put me right they're like dude it's it's scarred llama and like i was I, w I remember being really surprised by that like i'd read it so many times but it just didn't resonate uh i'm upset <laughs> <laughs>